Greetings, my name is Slight, and today we're going to take a deep dive into how burn works. And I have uh, developed a spreadsheet that helps us calculate burn damage in the early game, which can actually be pretty useful. But more importantly, it's going to give us a better sense of how burning damage works. So I'm going to start off, you know, this situation by asking you, let's say I had a pop snappers and a lighter. All right. And let's just say for the sake, I didn't have any other burn items. Okay, and I wanted to know if I was given the option of increasing my two burn items, right, by one each, or maybe rolling to get one more ammo on my pop snappers, which one would be better? Now, I think players who've played a lot will probably intuitively know that, but I, or at least know that just because, you know, you've played quite a bit, but... I think it's a difficult thing to just intuit when you're playing the game what is actually going to produce the most burn damage. So, with that being said, let's hop over to this spreadsheet here. And let's cancel that. All right, so this is my burn damage calculator. I've set a duration of 30 seconds, which is right when the sandstorm starts. So I want to know how quickly, um, how much damage I can do with burning uh, before we get to that sandstorm. Just in case, we'll take a little, a quick pit stop on burn. Um, so, uh, burning damage uh, deals damage uh, every twice each second. Okay, this timer that actually causes the burn damage to apply is separate from application time. So, if this is one second of duration and I apply burning at like 0 0.33 seconds, the next time burning will apply is 0.5 seconds into that second because that's the in-game timer that actually evaluates and uh, determines uh, that stuff. Um, so that means that there will always be one second or, or uh, one tick within a second that has burn damage applied and then another tick during a second where burn and poison apply simultaneously at the exact second. All right. Um, burn doesn't do damage on application, only on the timer ticks. So applying 500 burn damage doesn't just do 500 damage and then start ticking, right? Um, weapons which have multiple projectiles due to firing multiple things, like the rainbow potion is a great example because like a whole bunch of projectiles come out of it. Um, based on my understanding, I can say this for sure for poison and, fl and burn, those things apply on the first projectile being hit and the auxiliary projectiles are just for fluff. They just make it look cool and they come out at slightly different times so that you know you get this really cool dynamic effect. But as far as the actual application of the effect, that happens on the landing of the first projectile. All right. And the bazaar is pretty interesting in the way that it's been coded because it actually shoots the projectile before um, it's going to hit. And so on landing is when the actual game applies the effect. And that's a tricky little thing to do, especially considering those cooldowns can be charged and reduced and stuff and all that stuff can happen. Uh, a nice little tidbit that I've noticed. Um, one stack of burn is lost each time burn does damage during a tick. One stack of burn is lost each time heal is applied to the character. As I said before, the sandstorm starts within 30 seconds. And then um, I went frame by frame through quite a bit of burning uh, like builds on YouTube and so we know that burn does half damage to enemies when they're shielded right so um, uh, let me change this example so right if I do four burn damage it'll be two burn damage if they're shielded this damage is rounded up or down I've seen both when going frame by frame it might be random or it might be alternate so like if I do seven damage I might do three or four damage uh, with that burn tick because I think and I, I could have done more, more research to determine if there was a, a consistency, but it's kind of, especially when there's a lot going on on the screen, it's, it's kind of difficult to tell exactly what's happening uh, until we get the replay feature, uh, which will eventually be in the game per uh, Rain Noodle. Um, one thing I did learn, which I thought was more useful, is that burn damage does not split its damage amounts. What does that mean? This means that if burn ticks on a frame where the enemy has shield, no matter what, it's going to do half damage, even if some of its d damage rolls over to health. So this is what I was seeing when I was going frame by frame through stuff. So if I have 10 shield and I tick for 40 burn, I am only going to do a total of 20 damage. Even though technically 10 of that damage applies to health, and you could imagine 
that I should do 10 damage to the shield and 20 damage to health. That's not the way that it works. It's more simplified than that. And I think that's uh, good to know because it means shield is even better against burn because as long as I get one shield, right, when that burn ticks, it's going to do half damage. Good to know. All right, so first thing that I want to call attention to, um, and, you know, I can kind of turn on and off these uh, things here, right? Um, so if I just start the game with classic bronze, lighter, and pop snappers, the one thing that I just want to call out um, is that as pop snappers runs out of ammo, we see a linear uh, damage, bur burn d t damage over 250 seconds. Um, and that's because it's just the lighter applying burning. Here we see our DPS graph spike uh, until uh, pop snappers loses its ammo. And then that DPS falls very low uh, because it's just uh, the lighter. Um, and here I have my burn calculator. So this is actually simulating the frames on which um, uh, the uh, these three weapons would actually apply their effects. So because pop snappers and lighter at base have a three second uh, cooldown, you can see that on the three seconds mark here, that both of them are applying four and one burn respectively for a total total current burn of five. And then this is probably the most interesting uh, column. Uh, because it's conditionally formatted and basically green is an added damage per tick and red is when it's losing damage per tick um, and so this is useful to kind of get a sense of how how we're doing but what you'll notice here is that we get all the way back to zero so there's no self scaling here so in the case that first off let's just change uh pop snappers just for this to have no ammo limitation all right and so now we see a very linear total damage increase, right? Uh, because now, and we see some local maximums. That's why we see this wiggliness, right? Um, uh, we see a, a, a more stable uh, amount of DPS. Um, and uh, the reason that this looks like this is because we don't really start triggering all of our damage until three seconds, right? So that's where we get our kind of first uh, bit of damage actually coming out. And then, oops, get out of here. Oh, no. We're back. Um, yeah, so as you can see here, this is average damage per second per tick. And when we get our first uh, application of burn is when we start to gain that DPS. All that is just to say that there's something that's very important when we increase this lighter's damage to three. All right? We get a massive jump in damage. And this will make it, this is very obvious, right? Because what this means is now when I come back to my burn calculator, um, we are actually gaining total burn through the cycle of applying burn. And this is where we get that regressive increase of burn damage, all right? We are getting, uh, and if you took the derivative of this curve, that would be the DPS graph. Now we see this linear increase of damage per second over the course of this total damage, the longer this goes on, the more and more damage it's going to it's going to do, right? And so we can also see unique things like this. Let's say we had a pop snappers with a uh, four ammo, but it applies 25 burn every three seconds, and then we've got a lighter here that's just applying a small amount of burn, and let's say that this is every two seconds. Uh, actually, let's make it four seconds. All right. So we should see a different kind of graph here, right? Because sure, eventually we kind of fall off, but this curve right here is an indication that um, we've run out of ammo on our pop snappers and our lighter is adding just a little bit more uh, burn to kind of keep it going, but eventually it does run out. And then once we get here, it's just the lighter that's applying any more burn and it's an incredibly shallow uh, curve. And our DPS graph, will look like this as well. We spike at 120 DPS at around 30 seconds, and then that slowly falls off as the lighter is just sort of maintaining as much as it can the, the burning that we captured from uh, our pop snappers. So that's all, you know, relatively interesting, right? Let's reset all this. All right, we've got a normal lighter. We've got a normal pop snappers. Um, uh, interesting. Ah. There we go, not 425. Okay, so um, 
this will be available to you to use and i actually think this is quite useful in the early game all right um because i think it gives you a sense of how much damage you can do with burn um uh, uh in a certain amount of time um one of the things to take take away is like okay so let's say we've got a pretty decent build going on we've got a cannon which is doing 12 burn we've got pop snappers which is also doing 12 and we've got a lighter that's doing like 16 burn every three seconds we've got two ammo and let's say we got one extra ammo on our cannon here oh uh, no we would put it on our pop snappers wouldn't we so in 30 seconds I, with just these three items, can do 6,000 damage. All right, that's a lot of damage. That assumes there's no shield, right? Um, but very importantly, that damage is only really starting to take off right at 30 seconds, right? And our DPS graph is is starting to, it's, it's becoming a linear increase right at around 30 seconds. This means that in most battles with another player, you're really not going to get that 30 seconds. You might get 20 seconds. And that halves our damage, even though it's only a one-third reduction in the overall time. If I go down to 10 seconds, we are doing less than one-sixth of what we would have done, right? This is the complication with burning. And what I think I, I see people get wrong a lot is that burning is a innately scaling damage, right? It is better the longer it goes on. And that's the same true for poison, right? Um, but... Uh, burning can do more damage. It can scale higher, um, uh, potentially. It has the potential to, but it needs time, right? Uh, burning. Why is burning so good early? Burning is undeniably one of the best ways to do it damage early. Why is it so good? Because fights last 30 seconds. Fights last 40 seconds, right? That's why burning is so good early because it just scales so high. Once you hit, you know, like 25 seconds, you've done an incredible amount of damage with with a very achievable amount of burn, all right? Um, but another build might do, you know, 3,000 damage in eight seconds. And in eight seconds, you will have done 500 damage. So that's a, the big takeaway here, is like understanding how much damage you can do and how quickly, because burning doesn't do a lot of damage fast unless you can apply a large amount really quickly. So let's take a look at the example here and wrap this up. So we don't want the cannon. We do want a lighter, we do want pop snappers. Um, and if I go back here, I've got a eight burn, 2.7 second, four ammo pop snapper. So 2.7, it's doing eight. Uh, and then my lighter is doing 10 on 2.7. All right. In 30 seconds, I can do about 3,000 damage with these, which is pretty sweet, you know? It, it's nice that, you know, with, without much, you know, I can do quite a bit of damage. So, if I add one ammo to Pop Snappers, all right, oh, I can do this. So, let's do this here, this here, and then if I add one ammo here, I gain 246 DPS, I mean, uh, total damage and 8.8 .8 average DPS for over the duration. Now, instead, if I add one burn to each of these, I gain 500 total damage and 16 more DPS. So, pretty clearly in this case, it is better to add burn. Now, one thing that is interesting is let's say I take this back to 8 and this back to 10, and I increase this to 60 seconds. All right, and then let's capture those. Oops. And now, if I go to 5 here, let's go to actually 45 seconds. Or maybe 40, yeah, 45 seconds. All right. Sorry. Um, and now, if I add 5, because of the longer duration, I wonder if this is better. I, I, I don't think it is. Yeah, yeah, it can't be, can it? But anyway, so this is with 5 ammo. Maybe we'll save that here. And now if instead of that, I do 11 and 9. Yeah. So still way better. Uh, 
for me to be just adding burn in this case. The ammo really helps very little. And I don't know if that would be particularly obvious um, to, to most players. I think, you know, if you were to ask that question, I think people might not know what's best, you know, just off the top of their head. And that's why calculations like this are quite useful. All right. And so we can see our DPS graph for this particular setup. Um, we see that that falls off a little bit. But because our uh, lighter is self-sufficient, meaning that applying 11 burn every 2.7 seconds is already enough for our burn calculator to be constantly increasing, um, we are in a position where we are going to regressively increase on that damage, even if it's just a lighter applying it. So, uh, main takeaways are, uh, I'm going to try to work this into a couple builds today, but if you're building burning, you're not building a rushdown build, right? Uh, you probably want some ways to survive because you want to get to 30 seconds, right? You know, that's kind of like, and you want that sandstorm to kind of kick in. The tough thing is that means you need to scale and there's not a lot of great burning scaling outside of itself. So you need to be applying the critical amount of burn and have other ways to like actually increase the amount of burn that you're adding. Um, crit scale, like anything that's like another way to scale is really cool with burning because um, once you start scaling in two ways, you get like, uh, you, you've essentially gained acceleration, right? It's no longer like, uh, this is velocity, right? You know, this is position, right? Um, and once you gain acceleration, you get a regressively increasing DPS curve. That's where things can get really nutty, especially if you can get that regressive increase on, on DPS uh, pretty early into the fight. So, uh, all that being said, um, I am going to go ahead and increase the burn of my burn items. I'll add my trebuchet back in uh, and don't need these things. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty good, right? That's fine. Um, and I'll go ahead and add my burn. And I will see you guys in the next one. Whoa. Let's go. Let's go.